So what we have here is the box filled up with unit squares, and we're going to see how many layers there are. So here's the bottom layer. We already found that one. And then there's another one here, another one, another one, and a last one on top. So if we count all these up, you'll find that there are five layers identical to the base layer that we just looked at. So if you wanted to find how many unit cubes fit inside this entire box, you'd be finding the volume. And to do that, you would need to add the number of unit cubes in each of these five layers. So then what you want to do is add 200 five times for each of the five layers, because we know that one layer has 200 unit cubes. So when you do this addition, you get the volume to be equal to 1,000 unit cubes. And you could also say units cubed, so with little 3. Now there's another way that you could have found the area and the volume, actually, of the entire box. So if you wanted to find the volume of the box, instead of going through and finding the area of the first layer and then adding together each layer, what you could do is use multiplication throughout the entire problem. Now volume is equal to the area of the base times the height. And you probably recall that the area of the base is found by multiplying the length times the width. So taking this all together, that means that the volume of a, a prism like this, which is what the box is, it's a rectangular prism, so the volume is equal to the length times the width times the height. So let's do this part by part. So the length times the width here, again, that's the first layer that we looked at. So the length is 20, and the width is 10. So you have 20 times 10, and you know that this equals 200. Now we want to multiply this value times the height. So volume equals 200. Now the height is 5 cubes, because you counted 5 layers. So 200 times 5. And here the volume works out to be 1,000. And this is 1,000 unit cubes. This is the same answer that you got when we did it the first method. See, 1,000 and 1,000. So in this lesson, you've learned a little bit more about finding the volume using addition and multiplication. Happy solving.